all of the problems from these videos can be downloaded from accountingworkbook.com. Go to the website, click the PDF link, and you can download a copy of the workbook for yourself. Also on the website, you'll find all of my accounting videos, not just the ones I upload to YouTube. In fact, on the website, there are over a hundred extra videos that I haven't uploaded to YouTube. So I do hope you'll check out accountingworkbook.com. Okay, let's get started with the problem. So as I discussed in the intro to the chapter, the fundamental concept in determining a product cost, the fundamental challenge is determining the amount of overhead cost that should go into a job. And the reason is clear. We know our materials, we know our labor, our overhead has to be estimated. And the way we're going to estimate overhead, at least in this chapter, is by use of a single predetermined overhead rate. Uh, and this concept is like the concept of the chapter. Um, so what does predetermined overhead rate mean? Well, it's a little formula. We take estimated overhead divided by, I'm gonna call it estimated base. And what I mean by base is something that we believe drives overhead. Overhead driver, I'll put in brackets. So. We take our estimated total overhead for the upcoming period. We, we guess, I mean, we, we make an educated guess. We divide that amount by what we think is going to drive our overhead, often direct labor hours or machine hours, something like that. And we say, okay, how many dollars per hour, per unit of this cost driver? So let's examine this example and i think it's going to really illustrate the point and hopefully bring it home we'll see tony's tables makes high-end custom boardroom tables okay custom so this is obviously a job order costing type of firm the company applies overhead costs to jobs on the basis of direct labor hours okay so the basis of direct labor hours. so i know when i'm going to calculate this for tony's tables my denominator is going to be direct labor hours because it applies overhead costs on the basis of direct labor hours and you'll hear you'll read that sentence in problems all the time you're going to read the sentence x company applies overhead on the basis of the you'll see that in your questions in your textbook you'll see that in the questions in your exam be on the lookout for that sentence that's a really key sentence okay the company estimates manufacturing overhead for the year to be 320 grand okay so our overhead 320 um that's in dollars uh and the company expects its direct labor workforce to work for 20,000 hours and and you would know this if you're running a company you would say okay i have seven employees they work 40 hours a week 50 weeks a year this is how many direct labor hours we're going to work right you could determine that and you could determine your estimated moh by thinking of all those overhead costs you have and budgeting them right this is not a stretch real companies can and do do this uh okay so we do the math and we get 16 dollars per direct labor hour what does this mean this is what we're going to use to estimate our overhead cost so when i want to figure out the cost of a job when i'm working on a company's like job i'll say okay well my material cost is this i don't know how much material i brought to the table uh well, literally to the table here uh I'll also know how much labor costs because I'll know, okay, this is the wage of the employee that worked on that job. But what I need to estimate is the overhead. And what they've said is, look, we don't know our overhead, but we're going to guess, estimate that it's going to be $16 of overhead for every labor hour. Um, it might be higher, it might be lower, but that's going to be our estimate. Okay, so let's uh, see part A. It says... Compute the cost of the job. So uh, job 1843 shows the following cost information. Walnut, I guess, is the, uh, walnut is a type of wood, and we make tables out of wood, I presume. So to make the table, we use 300 board feet of wood. The cost is $15 per board foot. I remember when I wrote the question, I actually looked up the price of various types of wood so 300 times 15 means there's $4,500 of direct materials. 
we know the cost of any product is direct materials plus direct labor plus the overhead. So there's our direct materials. Our direct labor, we expect or we worked 240 hours is what actually happened. Um, and our employee got paid 20 bucks an hour. I guess they're very um, talented employees. To, it's good money. Uh, and so 240 times 20, that's $4,800 of labor cost had have gone into that table. Uh, the final item is overhead. And we got to go back up to the top. And we've said overhead cost gets applied at a rate of $16 per direct labor hour. We know the direct labor, labor hours were 240 hours. So we know it's 240 times 16. Now you might think, well, wait, I've already used the 240 on my, you know, computing my labor cost. That's fine. Like we can use it again here. So 240 times 16. Oh, I got to get a calculator. Um, let's see. Where is my calculator? There it is. 240 times 16. 3840 in overhead. Now, again, we know the direct materials for sure because we bought the walnut and the guy or the, the, the carpenter used 300 board feet of walnut. We know the labor cost. The carpenter took 240 hours. I guess there's a big substantial table or might have been a team of carpenters, right? It might have been six carpenters that took a week to build this table. And so 40 hours each a week, that's 240 labor hours. It doesn't necessarily have to be one person. Um, and we estimate that the overhead costs, and remember what overhead costs are, those are costs like property taxes and electricity and all of the indirect costs of making a table. We say, okay, in that table, there's about $3,800 of these indirect costs. It's our estimate. So the total cost of making the table, according to our job costing system is 4,500 plus 4,800 plus 3840, it's 13,140. Um, okay, so that's the cost of the job. Assuming a company marks up their price by three times the cost, not highly unusual. You might think that's like absurd, but that's, yeah, definitely not outrageous. What will the company charge its customer? So if my cost is 13,140, I'm going to charge my company three times what it cost. 13,140 times three, oops, not times six, 39,420. Now, probably I would charge them 39,999 just to like, or 40 grand just to round up. But that's the number based on what the, the question is asked. So Part A, our cost is 13,140. Uh, Part B, our price is 39,420. So there we have it. And I hope this is illustrated using an overhead rate. And, and just, again, I can't stress enough, this is an estimate. This overhead rate is an estimate. We're estimating the amount of overhead cost in that job. And it's useful to determine the price and it's useful to determine whether the job was profitable or not, or just how profitable a job may or may not have been. All right, that's it for this one. Stay tuned for our next video.